So my project Building Futures and I'm going to do all yawn in here. I'm going to do yawn or honey. I'm going to do a lot of work and I'm going to do a lot of work. I'm going to do a lot of work. So I'm going to do a lot of work. I'm going to do a lot of work. So I'm going to do a lot of work. I'm going to do a lot of work. So I'm going to do a lot of work. 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 Before my incarceration, I've done construction, I've run a tyre shop, but mainly it's in management of people because they were all my businesses, so I have that experience and brought that with me. Normally in the prison environment, the jobs that get offered are jobs where they get a bit repetitive. It's all labour intense rather than using your abilities and your experience, which you've got before I went to prison. So. My responsibilities now are that I look after a team full of lads up and down the valleys and I manage 17 compounds at the moment. I enjoy feeling the responsibility, being involved. I committed myself to make a change, to empower myself, to learn as I went through my incarceration, to obtain the knowledge in different sectors. So health and safety management, I've done all them courses in prison and sometimes I do feel it, that I am a prisoner and I'm still here working, but that just empowers me even more because all I want to do is prove more to myself and my family that nothing's gonna knock me off my, my standing now. But from a personal perspective, the, the Pathways programme has, has probably been as impactful for me as, as it has the individuals themselves. So far, we've had 11 delegates come in from HMP Prescoid and USK, and they've been working with the programme. So far, seven of those individuals have now left the justice system, and they've actually got sustained employment, still working and helping to deliver the South Wales Metro programme. And, and that means the absolute world to me, to understand that as a collective, we've, we've really provided opportunities for people which ordinarily would have really struggled once they left the justice system. So if I thought I'd done yon and, and rubbed positive yam and noon great or thunny, dim in the nigger in all, and that I tell you, that I come in as one and be one the our economy, my rubbed positive tea hunt, one of time no begun and no devodal, what hand all is devodal and all with ya and medal to Danarinig at Sober again and all, and now my gun and all, rubbed what hand all, rubbed positive, I'm gonna go hand yet maur in all, I tell you. So What's happened with the opportunity that they're given to me is that I might be able to give back to the community what I took from. I've also got a career that at the end of it now I can come out, I can be on a very good wage and more to the point, I mix in with the right people. I'm making new friends, new colleagues and the fact that I'm getting out to my family in 10 months time, a different man to when I come in. That is the best for me.